Hi everyone, um, welcome to a physics video. Um, I just wanted to remind you before we start talking about what we're talking about today that you should be filling in your guided notes um, on this lesson. If, if you go to the Moodle page on today's lesson plan, they should be there. You can either print them out and then take a picture and then make it a PDF and send it into Moodle. You have to submit it as a PDF. Um, or you can do it on Notability, save it as a PDF, and send it into Moodle. Either one is fine, um, but you do need to fill out those guided notes in your own handwriting so that we know that there's no um, copying back and forth of any kind, and you will submit it on Moodle. That is how we're going to check that you guys are doing what you're supposed to be doing, that you're learning the things that you're supposed to be learning, and all of that good stuff. Um, while you're watching the video, feel free to pause it and write down notes. You do not need to leave it running. Um, and yeah, we'll get started here. So we're talking about light today and we have a controversy. Is light a wave or is it a particle? And we'll talk a little bit more about that, but you can see that here on the guided notes, these are what the guided notes should look like. We have some um, we have some scientists here, and you're going to circle if they believe um, that light is a wave or a particle, and then you're going to make some notes over here about, um, just jot down some notes about um, what their their reasoning was or what they added to the, um, the arguments here, the debate here, and then right after you can see down here, there's the results of the debate. So you can write down here. I can get it to scroll. It's being weird. But if you can get it to scroll, there's if I could get it to scroll, you could see that. But you can see it on your own guided notes um, that there is a section here for you to write down what the results of the debate were. So without further ado, let's get started. So we have Sir Isaac Newton, famous guy. We know him as the guy with Apple. He did a lot of work with gravity. We know all of his laws. Um, he proposed that light was a particle. And his reasoning was that he thought that there was this particle that would fly through a void. It goes in straight lines. And he saw that there was shadows. So he's like, well, if there's a shadow, like if I put my hand up and it makes a shadow, then if the light shining on it, it's not bending around and illuminating that area, it must travel in a straight line. So he thought, it must be a particle of energy just flying through a void and making shadows everywhere um, and reflecting. So he was picturing it going boink, boink and bouncing off and reflecting. Um, and one of his arguments is that against the wave argument is that you don't see any diffraction. So if we saw diffraction, which you can look up if you want, um, that is what we would see if there was a wave. And then we see this guy, his name's Christian Huygens, and he's like, no, I think it's a transverse wave. He's like, light travels in like a spherical shape from a light source, kind of like um, we were talking about with sound. If I'm talking, you can see that the sound can go forward or to the side. If somebody was above me, they could hear me. So light travels in this spherical, it starts small and it travels in this spherical sense. So who's right? These were the two main guys that were arguing against each other. Who's right? It's big controversy. Then Thomas Young comes on the scene and he performs this experiment where he shines some a light through two slits that are equally spaced um, apart. And when we see that light going through that, we can see that the light over overlaps each other on the other side. This is diffraction. This is a property of waves. So he's like, you guys, light, it's a wave. And Augustine Fresnel, which is um, a mathematician, he supported Young's experiments with some mathematical calculations. So we have these two guys that are like, here's some experimental evidence. Let's go off of that. Um, and then we have Simeon Poisson. Now, um, if you are ever in a stats class, you know that there's something called a Poisson distribution. And he's this famous mathematician, but he also did some stuff for physics as well. And he was like, no, -uh, that's absurd. Um, here's an experiment that you could do to disprove this wave nonsense that you guys are talking about. And because he was so renowned at the time, people were convinced he, they had his trust. And they were like, okay, Poisson says no, we're gonna believe it's a particle. 
But then we have Francois Arago, who actually does the experiment. He did the experiment that Poisson believed would disprove wave theory. And when he did that experiment, it didn't work like Poisson thought. So he's like, you guys, uh, no, Poisson's incorrect. Light is a wave. So we go back and forth and back and forth. And then we hit Albert Einstein. So we have all these people who believe it's a particle, all these people who believe that it's a wave. And Albert Einstein's like, hold up, guys. I'm going to use quantum mechanics, and I'm going to prove that light is a particle. And you're like, what? This guy proved it's a wave. Albert Einstein's proving it's a particle. So what is it? Well, Albert Einstein was like, you guys, it can have wave-like and particle-like properties. So that's what we find out is that wave has both, uh, sorry, light has both wave-like and particle-like properties. And if we look at light as a wave or look like look at light as a particle, they can be helpful for, for different reasons. Those two models are really helpful um, and we can look at it like both because it has both types of properties. It's a wave and it's a particle and it's fantastic. So that's light for you guys. That's the controversy. And we found out that wave is that light is a wave and a particle. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day.